and two. So everyone say hi, team one. Hi, team one. Hi, hi, team two. Hi, team two. All right, but be careful, family. They might steal something from your table. Be careful. Be careful. Charlie, where are we? What are we doing? We are in line for the Dr. Seuss breakfast. <laughs> One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. <laughs> so we are at the Cat in the Hat breakfast. It is all themed in here, and you can pick two of the different entrees. Yes. We'll put the menu right here so you can kind of see what we're going with. So where is she going to stamp it? Oh, oh it's an autograph. There you go. Oh. Yay! Yay! You can sell that on eBay. Yay! We're going to get authenticated, but we need to sell it. Amazing! Amazing! So this is the green eggs and ham. Yes. I'm getting your macaroni. It's the berry and peach waffles. So this was our table of cold, improperly cooked food that we are now leaving. All right, we need to talk about the Dr. Seuss oh, birthday brunch. This is an extra cost. Yeah. So our food came out wrong. All the food was cold, like they already had obviously pre-made everything and it was just sitting there on the line, but not under a heat lamp. Yeah. So your eggs were cold, sandwiches were cold. And it wasn't just Marley and I, it was also Devin and Erica. Their food was cold as well and also not cooked properly. Yeah. And when you're paying extra money, you expect a little bit more of an elevated experience, right? That's why we go to the steakhouse. Right. This was not bad. I will say that the theming with the ice sculptures and the thing one, thing Everything two, was taking cute. photos, it was so adorable. Yeah. But you need to nail the food, Carnival. Yeah. Um, especially when you're charging people for that extra oh, little bit. Yeah. Um, so what we ended up doing is we told the maitre d', hey, this isn't a great experience for us. We're going to go. Please credit our account. Yeah. And they were very understanding. We took one bite of the food. Yeah. Yeah, no. So... I guess, Everything's covered in chocolate syrup. Yeah. I guess what I would say is if you're interested in doing the Dr. Seuss breakfast, beware. We got it sorted. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Go, go, go. Oh, we got the speed. Okay, we're taking a break. Oh, we got the speed again. Go, 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 go. You got this. Oh, okay, we take another break in the splash pool. Okay, that's fine. Maisie, go, you're almost there. Yay! Yay! It's amazing. It is a sea day, as we mentioned, day four, last day here on the Carnival Freedom. So we're gonna head up to the pool deck area and it is about to be so busy, but we brought Maisie's laundry mm -hmm. basket, which you've seen in a previous video. Uh, so we'll make sure that she can still splash about. There you go, girl. Um, and yeah, just try to make the most of our last sea day. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share on this video. And we'll see you a bit later. See you in a little bit, Pixie Dust Posse. I do have to say that <coughs> this cruise has been a good time, and I really do like our room placement as well. Like, try to prioritize staying on the Lido deck. It's been really convenient, especially with the little one. So you just fill this up, and Maisie can have her very own splash pad. So we relocate a little bit farther away from the main pool. It's a little crazy down there. Yeah. But well, that's what sea days are all about though. It is. Yeah. You're just gonna sit on the deck and relax. And hopefully that sun pops out because it's looking real cloudy right now. Heading to the shelter. So we don't get rained on. Last day, last guy's cheeseburger. It's become a bit of a tradition. So, fun little tip for you. Most cruise ships have little libraries, gaming areas. Uh, we brought this game 
Are You Garbage, shout out to the Are You Garbage podcast. And now other people are asking about this game. So the game that we show clips of, Are You Garbage podcast, card game, check them out. Have you been to a hibachi restaurant in the last 365 days? Yeah. Yeah. A thousand percent. Is that gar- Hibachi's not garbage, is it? No. Hibachi's not garbage at all. Okay. Are you garbage? Have you ever burned a sports jersey? <laughs> Man, <laughs> this team. Yeah. <laughs> Have you burned a sports jersey? Yeah, I've, I've burned a few of them. It's our final day. We are eating in the main dining room again, only because they have baked Alaska, and that's one of our favorites. Um, don't know what I'm getting. It's all pretty meh. Um, we'll see. All right, guys, so we have returned back to the scene of the crime from our first day here in the main dining room after two wonderful meals at the Sun King restaurant. Go back to part one in this series to find out why we're not stoked to be here right now. Let's talk about dinner. Let's talk about it. We went back to the main dining room since the first day, since day one. Marley, what'd you get? What'd you think? I started off with the fried tomatoes. Pretty good. Um, and then I had the beet salad. It had beets and peaches in it. So good. That was really good. Um, and then I got the jerk spiced pork chop and it was a little too spicy for me. Um, but you know, I wasn't expecting that cause it's carnival and sometimes they're lacking flavor in the main dining room. Um, but this had a lot of flavor. Mashed potatoes were really good. Green beans were cooked well. And for dessert, I had baked Alaska and it was everything I hoped and dreamed for. What'd you have? Baked Alaska, baked Alaska, baked Alaska, baked Alaska. Baked Alaska, baked Alaska, baked Alaska. Baked Alaska, baked Alaska, baked Alaska, baked Alaska. What? Maisie had chicken nuggets and fries, and she ended her meal with a chocolate banana split. She also tried frog legs. She spit it out. I'm happy we went back to the main dining room. The staff was great. It was a great experience. Um, definitely, they redeemed themselves from night one, I would yeah. say. I think they redeemed themselves. So we are at the farewell music trivia night in the atrium. It's always a party, so make sure you pin that on your agenda. It's very crowded. And it's not really true music trivia, so don't come here expecting to like play trivia. It's more of just like, hey, let's have a party. Yeah. All right, Devin, you have completed your four-day cruise here on Carnival Freedom. Give us your 30-second review. Good paid food, terrible free food, not a lot of entertainment, but overall, uh, six out of ten. Last cone. Oh, it's kind of soft. It looks... Let's find another machine. It's times like this that I'm reminded how Celebrity has toppings for their ice cream. And gelato. What you got there, bud? Hey guys, that is a wrap on our four day cruise here on the Carnival Freedom Marley. I rate our time an 8 out of 10. I had a really good time. An 8 out of 10. I'm yeah. going to go a little lighter. I'm going to go a 7 out of 10. Okay. I had the unexpected food charges, which you saw in parts 2 and 3. Uh, the weather wasn't great today for our sea day. But you come to Carnival for that charm. And I think <laughs> we, we definitely had a fill of that charm on yeah. this trip. But if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share this video. And if you started here, go back and watch the other three videos from this series. Yeah, man. Have a good night, too, man.